Hello and welcome to Stiz Plays U-Boat. We're going to start uh, this series off, starting it all off, right? So right here, we're going to pick our, uh, our mission. War begins. The legend, Red Devil, Battle of the Atlantic, Mare Nostrum, Battle of the Arctic, Atlantic. There's a lot of battles. Battles of the Arctic. We're just going to start from the beginning. Uh, U-48. Are these the same ones? But they're different U-boats. U-48 and then U-564. And we'll make this uh, the start of the U- Kitty Cat. Let's, let's call it the Kitty Cat. Kitty Kitty Cat. It has three times on there. Some balanced uh, realism and simulation aspects will be fine-tuned to make them challenging, but not excessively so. The game will be adjusted for optimal entertainment. And then you know everything about submarine warfare. I don't know much about submarine warfare. This is the first time I've ever dealt with submarine warfare. I played this game a long time ago, but this is a, a new patch. They added a bunch of stuff on it, which is kind of cool. Turn down some music so I can... You can hear me. Morale management, difficulty, medium. Let's do gameplay, normal. We don't need a tutorial. Mission completion, automatic, only if enough fuel. Sure. Torpedo flaws, semi-realistic. What's the difference? Uh, torpedo pistols have flaws that match the historic records. If a, tor a torpedo with an impact pistol hits a tor target at a high angle, it most likely won't detonate. Perfect impact angle is rewarded with an almost guaranteed detonation of a torpedo. Then you know what? Let's do a semi. Why not? Realistic bilge. To ensure realistic water accumulation in the bilges from sources like holes from the propellers, periscope located in the hull, or rain coming through an open hatch in the conning tower. Sure. Why not? Darker nights. Darker days, darker nights. Use of flashlight searchlight might be mandatory. Why not? Keep it with uh, nautical. Keep it nautical, bruh. With the realism of, or realism of uh, 62%. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Let's see what you sound like. Can you not change? Why do you give me the option to change the voice if you don't? Let me actually change the voice. A large guy. Let's make him a large, large man. Eh, there we go. Apply. That looks good. Gray polo shirt, blue polo shirt, light gray. Denim battle dress. Look at that. That's cool. Black jacket with blue shirt. Navy blue jacket with a belt. He has a belt? Why, why do you have your belt right there? What's the point of that? Slight stubble. Beard. Heavy stubble. Yeah, that's cool. With red hair? You can't even see his hair. And he's bald. Middle part. Okay, let's let's take off his cap. Let's see. He looks like a Viking. Middle part. Short. French crop. Aren't they Germans, though? That's not even blonde hair. Brown, blonde, sure. Complexion. Face type. If we're going to name this guy the Stizinator, why not? Cam Stizinator. This is my channel, obviously. Thousands of young brained men enlisted in the Kriegsmarine. Okay, we're going to skip that. Okay, we're in the port of Wilhelmsman. Wilhelmshaven. On Friday, September 1st, 1939. It's the beginning of the war. Oh, look at that port. Saluting the guy. With a U kitty cat. Kitty kitty cat. It says three times. Why does it say three times on it? What, like, is there three cats on board? Is that the Stiznator up on the on the? All right, 
we'll, we'll fast forward through that part. Let's go to the warehouse. Let's see Hans Fischer. Hans. Hans Fischer. Take a look. He's very mysterious for being a storekeeper. Let's get some potatoes in there. Exotic fruits or vegetables? Let's do some vegetables. We're not going to fill up our boat. we got to save some money. Ammunition. In war, you would think that you'd want as much ammunition as you can get. That's my whole thing. On Oh, oh, we don't have... It's, why is it not topped off? you got to top off the tank. Do a T1 torpedo. So, the difference between T1 and T2, if you didn't know... T1 is going to be your uh, steam steam powered torpedoes which give a lot of boobles. T2 is your electric torpedoes which don't have any boobles. So, we'll just we'll just go with steam. The the electric, I know the electric uh, aren't as uh, as uh, reliable. And in war, you kind of need to have reliable stuff. Flat gun, small Caliber high explosive and armor penetrating. Put some more armor penetrating on there. Why not? I really don't want to spend that much money on that stuff. All right. All right. So it's going to take a while to load all that stuff, which is fine. A leading officer. We didn't do anything. I don't know. This was the first patrol. Show me. Show me. Okay. So we're starting here. Sector and 15 to 46. Oh, that's far. We don't want to go that far. This one seems like it's a pretty good... Pretty good area. And this one's a pretty good area. Which, which one? Let's just go from the first one. Reach patrol area. Well, we will after you load all my stuff. Did I? Are they loading all that stuff? I think they're loading it, right? Because there, there's not a buy button. We got some potatoes. Torpedoes. Moving. They're moving the torpedo. Okay. Good to buy. I think if we go over here, got another screen. Oh, oh. Face the other way. There we go. Why, why do they put it so far away? I want to see their files, Wolfgang. Show me their files. Thomas Wacker. I like the name. Schmidt. Hans Sommer. Okay, I'm not I'm not going to waste my money. But I want to choose a crew. Boarded, boarded, boarded. I guess we really didn't need a buy. Look at this. Three Rolfs. Kloss. Hello, Kloss. All right. What, what's that? What is that? What's with the life ring? Tasks. Leader, engineer. So we got everyone. Chief engineer, designator, morning shift, night shift, anything free. Squats. All right. I think we should be pretty much good to go, right? You would think? It's about a 370 nautical mile transit. Are we good? Can we go? Is everything loaded? I wish they showed stuff being loaded. Like, that'd be cool. I'd be pretty happy with that. Let's see. Faster, faster, faster. faster. Like, that'd be really cool if you could actually see. Okay, well, I guess we're going. Okay. Now, back in the day, before they updated it. I don't know if it's the same way that it's been, but if you fast forwarded through these locks, you would run into them in sync. And I, I don't know. We'll see if they update. Oh, I don't want a chance. I don't want a chance. I don't want to lose the game already. Okay. Locks opening. See, and this is new. I've never seen this before. We're actually works i don't i think that's pretty cool like that's that's pretty awesome faster, faster. 
All right, we're going to assign two guys to this guy. We really don't need any sailors attached to uh, Stizinator right now because we're just transiting, I think, right? No, yep, sight range 25%. We're still in friendly territory. This guy, though, you make us go faster. I like that. Faster, faster. Assign sailors. Let's get those torpedoes done. We need to get those torpedoes loaded. we got to get ready for, for all this stuff. Who is this Hoffman guy, though? What's his job? You know what? I'm, I'm going to put him on here. I don't know if he is the navigator. He will be the navigator now. And because of this, the fuel usage being 10%, navigation quality, what is that, plus 50? We'll keep it. We'll, we'll, we'll give him some crew. We're going 19 knots. Pretty good. Not bad. Let's speed it up a little bit. Ding, ding. A ding, a ding, ding. All right. What's the ETA? What is our estimated time of arrival? Put in Tesla. What is that? What, what is that? Ship tiny group. I'm pretty sure that's our group. Why is he whispering? All right, we'll see when we get there, I guess. Let's put these babies on electric. Let's go Tesla mode. Still going 14 knots. Not bad. Shallow area. Okay, well, let's not run aground. That'd be great. That'd be fantastic. Now, this game I've always thought was beautiful. It's such a beautiful game. It's actually very difficult. Um, speaking of difficult, let's... I, I think our builders are good. I hope. Ballast tanks are empty. Depth steers station. Storage room. We got our, our friend over there cooking food. Diesel compressor. Uh... This guy's listening to the radio's cabinet. So we're going to have all our, our coffee and stuff. Didn't really grab... Are those... What are these? Breathing apparatuses. They look like grenades. Seems like it'd be a bad idea to have grenades. Alright. This torpedo, they're... They're... Fixing it. Look at them. Scrubbing it. All in cahoots. Load that baby back up. This guy's sleeping. Good job, Otto. Being useless. Get to work, Otto. Got Schuster over there. He's got a friend helping him. Don't we have like a bunch of sailors? Like, are they not? Why aren't they doing anything? What's what's going on here? Who knows? <laughs> Ship tiny group. It's just, see, and that's the thing. It's a group of one. So I'm pretty sure it's not nothing. It's probably another U-boat. What tends to be. Let's see. We're going to catch up to this guy and see. What is it? What is it? Oh. What are you? It's a U-boat. Told you. German Reich. Reich. Okay. We don't care about that guy. He's not going to blow us up. He shouldn't. If he blows us up, then he's going to be in trouble. I'm telling. He's going that way. I'm going this way. We're both going to our patrol area. There's a Helgoland port. Hosts a small submarine base intended for resupply. There are no U-boat flotillas stationing there. Imported goods, period. Okay. We know that that's a U-boat. We're not worried about that. Let's keep going. Full speed ahead going about 19 knots right now reaching the patrol area at some point hopefully it's pretty quiet we'll see we'll, we'll speed this baby up look at all our friends up here there's uh, Captain Stizinator right there looking around you find anything Stizinator? probably not on the U kitty cat. Kitty kitty cat. I keep saying it only twice. It says three times. Kitty cat. Kitty kitty cat. Alright, we still got quite a bit to go. Heave ho. Telly ho. Hmm. 
This is how this goes, though. We're still so far away. This is crazy. Ding ding. There's our, our course change on board the US or the, the U Kitty Cat. Not the US. It's not a US ship. Can't say US. Now, I believe there's a, a destroyer game called Destroyer. It's based on the same. Uh, same game. I, we'll do another series for that at some point. Let's see how those uh, seas are doing. Look at that. Look at that. That's so pretty. Got the sun glare. I'm not going to sink yet because there's no point. Two thousand years later. Okay, we got a incoming transmission. Let's see what Carl Heinz Schuster has to say about that. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, slow down. Understanding order is to patrol. We know that. Ship spotted. Hostile actions of the port of Polish allies, England, and France are not a, to be expected. Okay. So we... Apparently we can't... Attack England or France. You got it. I won't attack him. I promise. Everyone's kind of chilling. He's warming up the torpedoes, getting ready. And we are in our patrol area in like two seconds, I think. We there? Oh, 19 miles away. There we are. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to see. Well, we're going to send that, first of all. I sent it. I sent it. Luckily, we still have 93% of fuel. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go... We're going to go deck a wash. This will allow us to... I mean, are, we're not going deck a wash? What's going on? We're slowing down. Okay, we're slowing down. Go deck a wash, people. There we go. Okay, we got it. What is going on here? What's with all the smoke? Do you see that? Okay. For deck watch, let's change this guy over to uh, the sonar. On duty. On duty. Forgive my friend. What are you doing, bro? Oh, he's sleeping. You guys decided to sleep now? I gave you guys breaks. Do a cool little... Cool little box pattern. Change course. Usually we can see what we hear, right? So, I mean, do we have to be lower? I don't, I don't think. Periscope? Periscope? Let's go to periscope depth. depth. All right, so we're still steaming over here. All right, friend, do you hear anything? Do you hear anything? Okay, there's a hydrophone. This guy is sleeping quite a bit. We'll give this guy another sailor. No, I guess not. Okay. So... We'll let him sleep for now. We really want to let this guy sleep, but I'm kind of worried about that. 
I got the periscope up. Exterior hatch is closed, right? Should be. Make yourself useful. Get the light switch before you start cooking. You're gonna be cooking. Speed it up a little bit. Clear sight. Let's go forward too. So the slower you go, the better the hydrophone. Um, which is good. Clear sight. It's pretty... Uh, Pretty good. Air quality, 99%. Still got quite a bit of air. Let's go a little slower. Let's see if we can get the hydrophone a little, a little more. And I'm not planning on basically staying down here longer than, than the night. We'll, we'll go full-on submerged uh, during the day. And then we'll do um, floating up top there during the night. Then it'll give us some uh, some air and everything. But that will just be fine. We'll speed up a little bit more. Let's see if we get anything. Is he still up? He is up. We're not getting anything, though. We'll let this guy sleep. All right. Go get some rest, dude. You need some rest. This guy can wake up you are gonna work stizinator's up that guy's sleeping that's fine you can sleep let's get another sight range let's get everyone rested so when we actually start having to attack stuff that we can all right so it's 2106 we're gonna have to surface because ultimately the air is getting really crappy so we'll surface up here we come. All we got is this guy on the periscope. That's all we got. We have no hydrophone. Have no listening. Uh, right now this guy's asleep, so we're not even getting uh, any kind of uh, radio calls. We'll go ahead and put him. Wait, do we have someone on the hydrophone? I guess we do. Keller. Yes, sir. Okay, where are you going? No. Nope. Oh, no, go back. I need you in the radio room. Can we use a hydro? I think we can use a hydrophone. But. And then we're going to start charging our compressor. Use the diesel motors. It's fine, people. It's fine. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, sir. I guess that kind of doesn't help with that. So let's go to the radio room. You get anything, buddy? Okay, what's going on here? What is going on? We... Blow the tanks. Just blow the tanks, dude. Blow the tanks. Apparently we screwed up somewhere. Or I screwed up somewhere. You guys didn't screw up. I screwed up. Alright, blow, blow the tanks. Let's get up there before we kill our people. Low air reserves. Yeah, well that's why we're charging. Switch to diesel engines. Alright, we'll charge. Charge the batteries. Switch to diesel engines. See, that's where I messed up. I turn on the diesel. I'm basically giving my crew carbon monoxide poisoning. It's what it seems like. Clear sight. Max sight. So max sight's pretty good. Stizinator's up at the top. Can't see anything. He's not going to be able to see much. Speed it up a little bit. Let's just find something got to find something. We got to find someone, something. This guy has a really good job. Like, he's just literally warming stuff up. A 
look at this sea state right now. It's bad. It's pretty bad. All right. Look at our zigzag. Our zigzag pattern. Speed it up. Come on, see something. You gotta see something. Should be daylight here in a second. This guy can get up. Go back to your radio room. Let's give this guy some rest. Skipper. Turn on the lights, give them some simulation of daylight. Yeah, I would not want to be on that submarine. I, I'm telling you, like that sea state's pretty darn bad. Look at this guy. He's he's up there in a rain jacket. Doing his thing. There's water all over the deck. We gotta we gotta pump that out. What's what's the bilge is that? 1.6 meters. Turn on that pump. Let's pump that water out. Boyagee's, the Boyagee is being affected. Buoyancy. Compressed air reserves low. Let's turn this puppy back on. I thought we were pretty good, but I guess not. This guy's back at work. Good job, Weber. This guy's asleep. Let's uh, let's give Weber some sailors. Even though we're really not, like, we're not focused on going fast right now. We're just trying to get where we need to be. We gotta find something. And so once that air reserve is up, we're going to um, go in and sink again. Play music. Don't want to play music. We're, we're in war. We're in a war zone. All right, Nod. Let's just speed up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go faster, faster. Let's let's speed up a little bit. Once we uh, speed up, maybe get about right here. This is actually a bad place to be, considering the fact that there's airplanes right there off of RAF Dundee that's my opinion I, I don't know I'm not a Submariner I have no idea US kitty cat or you kitty cat kitty cat kitty kitty cat all right you turn off the air compressor let's let's go ahead and do our deep dive periscope death let's bring this thing down let's go this guy's still... Look at him. He's he's fully up there. He's good. Let's get this guy some coffee. Let's drink it. You should be wide awake, right? Maybe. Almost. Let's get Stizinator some coffee. It's kind of unfortunate I'm drinking all my coffee. Schuster, you're going to the radio... To the, the sonar. You're going to be doing some sonar. Periscope depth. All right, so we're down at periscope depth. I remember we got two different periscopes. We have the uh, targeting and the attack, I believe. So uh, you got one down here. You got Luther on the observation. Then you got the Stizinator on the uh, attack periscope. So you got two of them up, which makes it a little easier. We're not really hiding from anything. It's it's pretty uh, crappy. Honestly, uh, crappy weather, so it's pretty dark already. This Disneyator's not getting anything. He's got his friends. Let's let's put this guy's friend. Let's give let's give Disneyator some of that. So you got the sight range and everything. Our uh, hydrophones up here. They're actually not seeing anything. It looks like on that periscope. Like periscopes, nothing. Max hydrophone range. Let's stop. Let's see. Does it go out all the way? If I go and I slow down, 
you do not have to where to go. Why does it say Mad Max Hydrophone? Can I not? Master, master. You know what? We're going to do this manually. Consider diving, diving deeper. Okay. Well, do we dive deeper then? Is that what I'm hearing? Do we? Are we going to dive deeper? Let's dive deeper. 50 meters. Let's go. Let's go, people. Let's see what this what this does. I, I don't know. Maybe. If I dive deep, can I find something? Is the hydrophone working? Okay. Let's let's put this guy to bed. He's going to bed. Go to sleep. Go rest yourself. We're going to give Schuster another sailor. Can we? How does this work? Okay. I don't hear anything. Oh. That's us, though. I think that's the water, right? Okay, that's us. What is that over there? Is that something? Okay, so that's that's our props. Okay, so basically we're not hearing anything. We're super far down. We're like at the bottom of the sea. Which is cool. Like, that's fine. We could be down there. Look at this. What is going on here? The build is already... Ah, it's... Six they made us. But my question is, how do you make the hydrophone further? What is going on here? How do you make the... Maybe it has to do something with, uh, I don't know. Who knows? 70 meters. I don't know. How do I give this guy more people, though? Right? Because, like, he has two people. There's two people working. One's idle. Derek Mass Moss is idle. Okay, that's all ours. Okay. I guess we just have to see. Maybe it has to do some with the uh, the weather, right? Fourteen knot winds. What is that? Navigation correctness. This guy should be choosing where we're going, right? Like, he should be getting better. You would think. Let's speed this up. Let's see. Let's go a little bit more. Let's see if uh, Schuster finds anything. We're at 80 meters, 60 meters. Let's go up to periscope depth. Let's get uh, Stizinator back on the periscope. We're already there. Look at that. That was fast. Still got about 55% of air. Got quite a bit battery, so our Tesla is going pretty good. Hydrophone, clear sight, max sight. It's it's getting beautiful though. Look at that. It's noon, high noon. Doing pretty good. Go a little faster. It's getting odd to turn on the. Uh... Oh, he's cooking. I was like, what is that? Should we turn on the, uh, see what it says, the fool. I know you could go here. There's, there's a place you can go. Right here, ventilation. 
and you can turn on the ventilation and basically generate better air. Does that work? Is that working? Okay, it is. Okay, so we could stay down here longer. How do you turn up your hydrophone? Why can't... Look at that. It says max hydrophone, but I want more hydrophone. All right, we're saving. Speed up a little bit more. Let's see if we get anything. Are we going to find anything? We don't know. We're still over here. First patrol. We still got quite a bit of travel area to go. We're up. I thought we were already at periscope depth. Are we not at periscope depth? We are now. All right, we got to get this. Oh. Incoming transmission. Are you going to give me anything? Are you going to give me anything? Are you going to give me a sight to see? A boat to sink? Are you going to give me something? you got to give me something. Come on, Schuster. Give me good news. Let's get some action. Okay, we got the new messages. To all submarines. English ships are to be considered hostile with immediate effect. At present, all first wave submarines are instructed to attack freighters in accordance with the terms of the prize rules. As long as the prize rules are in force, cargo ships flying the English flag may be attacked without warning. Stuff just got real, people. It just got real. So basically, attack the English is what this is saying. And uh, we're right off the UK. Like, we're right off of Ireland. No, we're not off of Ireland. Dis disregard that one. We're, we're off the northern coast there. The United Kingdom. So... And basically what we're doing is we're, we got Norway over here, the port of Bergen. Between the Linus, Linus Naval Base. So what I'm assuming is going to happen is there's going to be a lot of freighters coming through here. Even this uh, Leith, right? Shipyards and a transport point for goods. So you got all these over here. And you got this over there. These are the bad people. Apparently this is the good people because that's our home port. But we also have the Royal Air Force over here. And then we have a naval base over here. Right where we're going to be. So I have a feeling we're going to get attacked at some point. We might see some good stuff. Um, which is unfortunate that we're running out of battery. I'm going to turn off this ventilation. Uh, we're going to have to use diesel engines at some point. Which I think we can use diesel motors, right? Am I going to destroy my crew? Oh, I guess we can't use it. All right, let's 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 go deck wash, right? And then this should be okay for us to use diesel motors. Maybe? Is it? No. Okay, let's blow the tanks. We're going to be screwed, is basically. We're, we're at the radio, though, so that we're, we're good. This guy's asleep. We need to wake him up. Turn on the lights. Let's turn them into white. We're just basically looking for stuff at this point. We're going to take uh, one from... I'm gonna put him to bed. Give Stizinator a couple people. Let's see if we catch something. We're gonna go a little faster though. Faster, faster. Schuster's over here listening to the radios. I think uh, we're in a little bit of trouble. Oh no, we're at 74% of uh, navigational error. So what we're gonna do. We'll wake him up. It's probably a bad idea to wake him up. 
Um, you know what? Go back to sleep, dude. We'll have Nod do it. Oh, he already turned it on. Okay. So we're going to charge our battery, get stuff done, and hopefully we'll find something in the next video. We'll talk to you guys later. See ya.